Good evening, guys. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Santi. Good evening. Good evening, the camera perde. Hello, guys. Welcome to our English class. Welcome to everybody. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Hi, good to see you guys. Well, welcome. It's a great pleasure to see you back, you know, you know, after weekend. And I know that we are ready just to learn and practice, right? So how was your day, by the way? How was your Great. day? Tell me. Great teacher. Thank you. How about you? Uh, pretty good. You know, a little busy, like all the time. But, you know, I'm encouraged because that's that's important. You know, we we'll start the week. I was thinking about something positive, especially we, we project ourselves during this week, thinking about this week is going to be great, that we will be very successful in what we do. So we always like try to think about that. And, you know, time is going to be great for you and about what you do. And the most important is to try to enjoy what you are doing, all kind of jobs that you have in mind or something that you had to do. You have to be very positive. It's, it's something that I always, always think about it. So welcome, guys, to, every, to our English class. We always have this chance to improve. In every single class, we have the opportunity to maximize our English skills and work a lot and try to do our best in every class. Every, every day, we have to learn something in English. So, well, before that we start, I just want to ask you a couple of questions. And the first one is, uh, what do you remember about the last class? Uh, what, we, what did we do? Tell me about it. I just I would like to know if you remember what, what we did or what topic we developed, what exercise we, we did. So this is time to shine. So tell me about it. Yes. We were complete the exercise. <laughs> the direct request. Mm -hmm. Okay, and also the topic was a review, right? It was it was a kind of review of the previous exercises that we had developed. And that was one of the things we developed in the class. And as part of the activities that we always take into account, in this review, we talk about pass it on, complete some questions, right? Indirect request, right? As we were saying before, like, uh, does she speak Greek? I would like to know if she speaks Greek. Um, would you mind telling me the time, could you let me know if he can come on time? Do you have an idea what time the meeting is? So thinking about, you know, request in, in an indirect way. And also we had to socialize some important information and related to the to request. So today we'll continue guys working with uh, different content that in that case, that video conference number nine, and also the name of this is called What a Story. So we will study a very interesting information that we will socialize today in the class. So what a story, and that's the conference. And we can appreciate this part here. Look at that. Um, it says, what a story. And we have here some important things. I want you to watch this screen and see what happened. 
main news 70%, because that is the top eight newspaper sections. Percent of adults, US newspaper readers who read each section. So in newspapers, people focus specifically in one specific section. So look at that one. I, I know some people that they when they get a newspaper, the first things they do is to watch the sports. Um, someone else that read the local news or some others like to read, uh, uh, for example, some cartoons or something specific in the newspaper. So checking this information, there is a special person of adults who read something specifically or look for something like, for example, the main news, 70%, I consider this the most important because you know about what happened around the country and important news that about uh, technology, about social things, about economies, a lot of things. So the main news take the 70%. A sport for people is only the 43%. Look at that. And editorials, that is the 42%. Look at that. According to this domain statistic. What else? Also, we have the business news. In that case, take the 39%. Classify at thirty-seven uh, percent, and comics thirty-six percent, movie and listing thirty-three percent, and food and cooking is thirty-two percent. Look at that. So we have this kind of sections. So perhaps in our Salvador, the reality will be a little bit different because people look for something else in the newspapers. And also in the U.S., this is like the most common about some specific stories. And there are some questions that I want you to focus and try to answer between all of us here and see what can we add to this information. Like the first one, which sections contain daily news? According to this one, guys, which section do you consider contained daily news? I think it could be the section of main news, but I don't know what what it refers main news. I don't know this. Exactly. In that case, the, the daily news are news that happen every day. Like, for example, something related to economy, accidents, news about local sellers, information about the government, about some laws to it's about daily news. The next question, which sections are for entertainment? According to you guys, there are specifically like eight of sections of which ones you consider are specifically used for entertainment according to what we see here. Comics, for example, sports. Okay, uh, something else that you consider is part of entertainment. Movie and TV listing. Uh, listing, yes. Something else? Okay. Um, put the sections in order from most interesting to least interesting. So we're going to try to rank the most important um, news. For example, for me, teacher, the most important is the main news and the second one are the sports because I love sports. The third one is food and cookies because I love that one. The number four. So you had to put the sections in order from most interesting to least interesting. In that case, it's going to be a little bit more personal because you had to analyze and select ranking the best number one for you, the number two for you, the number three for you. So try to do. So you had to um, think about eighth in a correct order. So we will take some time to do it and then I will request individually so you can also you know turn on your microphone and say teacher for me the classify eight is the number one or the, the movies and listing because that's my preference so I will give you some couple of minutes to to rank this one and then we will socialize that The least most important is important for me. Yes, bro. Yes. 
Yeah, eso es lo que hay que hacer, va. Yeah, you had to you, you had to rank right. the sections. Yeah. The most important. The most and the least, right? One number one is this one, the number two is okay. this one, the number three, and the, the last one that is the number eight is the less important. Okay, okay, very good. Okay, teacher, uh, you teacher, ready? Who? Yes? I had a question. Give me five minutes, please. Um, put the section in order from the most in interesting. This is yeah. for me? Exactly. Okay, it's everything. Okay, so who wants to start? And who wants to uh, be the first, you know, volunteer to express, you know, your ideas about that? Yes, I have, I have one. Yes, one idea ahead. about this, but I, I, I did my top three about the sections. I don't know if it is okay. Well, my, my top three about these sections are, uh, the first one is the main news because I think that here are the the most important news like politic 
or fact that it happened uh, during the week or during the last day. And the second, secondly, the most important in order to those sections, I think is the business news because this type of, of news are affecting in either in a good or a bad way, the economy of our country. And the, the third section that I prefer to read is the movie and TV, because uh, I think the we we need to 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 get to have fun in the life because if if we uh, com, um, if we are all the time reading bad news or or too serious news uh, we we can we can't feel good during the day we need a little time to to have fun and uh, this section I think is a good way to to do it. The movie and TV listings, and and that's that is my top three about these sections. Excellent, you know, congratulations! So you can see that according to your preference, that's the best one. Okay, thank you. And someone else would like to you know to share his or her idea. Me, teacher. Yes, tell me. Well, my case, uh, the most important of the list is sport, number one. Because I love sport and especially soccer. And I like to be aware of what is happening with my favorite player and teams. The number two, uh, the main new. And the number three, the move it and listen. That's it, teacher. Excellent. That's great. I would like to listen to all of you guys. And to, for that reason, the most convenient is to work in the breakout rooms. But we will take a couple of minutes to share it with the small groups because we need to go back and study an important topic too. So as part of the strategy, because I need that all of you participate and the time will be very valuable according to the topics that we're studying, we will create the small breakout rooms. And in a briefly way, you will uh, participate actively in this part. So um, you will share your information with your partners in less than five minutes we go back, okay? Let's go and practice. And this is an opportunity for you guys to speak in English because you know that sometimes it's like no so common that we speak English all the time. We do it just right here in class. So those spaces is just for speaking. So don't use Spanish. If you have any questions, you perhaps you could ask in English and they can also can help you. And also don't be quiet or don't be shy in silence because the goal is that you can speak, you can produce a language. That's one of the strategies we have. So let's go and practice. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Hola, teacher. Este, este, me conecté tarde porque tengo un familiar este, en emergencias ahorita porque está enfermo. Y creo que están en un breaker room, teacher. Ok. Uh, can you check your screen? I'm alone.
Vean su, su pantalla. I one time I go to the cinema one oh time my in my what? life. Oh my yeah. god! What do you mean? What movie? Do you to watch? Um, but to listen music. No, yes. que película fue la única que había en el, en el cine? No, pero te va a dar risa. Pero si, pero si te gusta ir. Sí, imagínate la que vi hace mucho tiempo. Una what? suegra de cuidado. <risa> Ni por cerca se me cruza con él. <risa> Una de Jennifer Lopez oh que se pelea con la suegra. It's really Ita. yes. Ita. Ita. Uh, it's a uh, for 15 years ago. Oh my god. <risa> I uh, in, in in this time uh, I have a girlfriend and, and, and she and I she and I uh, we went to cinema oh my god no. one time one time <laughs> no more no, no watch the, the movie is nah. the, the, the most watch. important, is the most important. <laughs> Is a girlfriend they didn't give me the idea. <laughs> not the movie, not the movie. <laughs> I, I don't watch the movie. Solo te acordás que se llamaba así la película, ¿no? Yeah. Um, is, the most important thing is that you were listening to music. Is a, a hand, is a hand, it's a... <laughs> hey, yeah, I, I listen to music, I listen to music, um, uh, in my car, um, the work, in the work, yes, in the work, uh, YouTube, every day. I I, I have a, a smart TV. Oh my god! Uh, and YouTube, uh, play all type music. All right, very good. Yeah. Oh my. Eh, eh, en the case de newspaper, uh, I don't buy newspaper, no compro el periódico. I read the news in the phone, in the right. social media. Right. In Facebook. And... I, I watch, I watch TikTok. cell phone. Yeah, for... I watch the cell phone, the, the news, and the YouTubers, YouTubers, and no, no, yes. no. No, no uh, news traditional. Uh, I, I, I am I like surprised. It, I like it uh, the... La Prensa Gráfica, uh, Diario oh. El Salvador. 
the, the Facebook reads the news every day. Every day. Yeah. Right. And perhaps the disadvantage about, for example, watching the news on social network is that it's, sometimes we don't know if it is 100% real or true because people can invent news. And when we are watching them in an informal media, so we don't know if that news is real or not. There are some of them that are authentic. The information is confident, but there are some cases in which the information is not real. And when you yeah. ask, never happens, but people do it to call the attention of the, of the audience. Yes, I, I read just so uh, uh, I already know. Page no, official no, 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 page. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, I like it the the news uh, right the YouTuber. And, in the internet, there are many many. Elvis, I have a Okay, students, uh, we came back so I could listen to uh, some of you talking, you know, expressing their ideas about the top eight newspaper sections, and we have some preferences about some sections in newspapers. Nowadays, we have a very different challenge that many years ago, that one of them is that people, they preferred um, watching the news on TV or in social media, social networks, but but some few few people they buy the news, newspaper f physically some others they prefer watching the news online but that that may change depending on every single person and it doesn't matter if this is online or in person you have some preferences about some sections in the newspaper that are depending about what we like so we'll continue with this one it's a surprise ending I want you to watch the follow to watch and see what's happened. So I'm just gonna read it for you guys. So listen carefully and let's see what we can learn from that. The, the topic is an attempted robbery took place. Let's see about this robbery. Listen to the TV news stories. What type of stories are they? An attempted robbery took place at Eastern Bank today. A man was trying to rob the bank but he wasn't very lucky. While he was escaping from the bank, the robbery got caught in the revolving door. The police arrived and took the man to jail. It was an strange soccer match last night. The first won the game, but the Lions scored the goal. As Jay Walters was running toward the ball, he tripped and accidentally kicked it into the wrong goal. The score was verse one Lions zero. An embarrassing incident happened in the transportation conference this morning. The Secretary of Transportation was making a speech when the protesters threw an egg at her. The protester was arrested and the secretary finished her speech. An electrical problem at Pogs Arena interacted a planet's concert last night. The planets were performing a new zone when the lights went out. While the show went on, the planets continued to play in the dark. And the lights came back on an hour later. Look at this one. Okay, look at this one. And also the first and... 
if you can summarize each uh, news. So what is the first news about? What do you understand about the news? In your own words, of course. In your own words, explain me what do you understand in the first news? Okay, ¿qué entendieron en la primera noticia? In my case, I... Un atentado de okay. robo, algo así, de un banco. No es... Un intento de robo de un banco, no, teacher. Yeah. Yes, in English, uh, try to explain in your own words. All right. To, to rob the bank. The police the the bank. Uh -huh. are, uh, arrived and took the main to hide. Okay, great. Yes, that's right. What else would you like to add about the first one? Exactly. A man try try to to rob the bank, and he was cuffed or trapped, and he couldn't do anything. So, but look for the man who want to steal in the bank. Number two or the second one. What do you understand about the second news? And the second news, I understand that the Bears won the game, uh, but the Lions scored a goal. At the end of that match, the score was Bears 1 and Lions 0. Exactly. Excellent. That's right. So, but luck because it was as a, an auto goal, as we can say. They score in the same, yeah, in, in the same goal, a running tour. So, in the he made a, a ground goal. So, so bad for this guy. Anyway, that's why he lose the game. And the third one, and what do you understand about the third news? What do you get about this part here? An embarrassing accident. What do you understand about this? I understood that. I'm sorry, Eduardo. Go ahead. Continue, continue. Continue. Okay. I I understood that one one person was speaking a a conference and suddenly one another person uh I'm sorry, uh one other person uh Take one egg on the on this person that she was uh, doing a conference, and after that he was uh, he was cut catched for the po police, and next uh, the 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 woman uh, continue continued with his speech. Okay, all right, yes. Imagine the secretary was like trying to give a speech uh, to the citizens or the people who were in the Congress. And suddenly, you know, she, she was attacked by the protester, you know, throwing eggs at her. So, so bad for the, the protester because was arrested. And the secretary continued with the same thing. 
So imagine that may happen. Uh, real news. And the last one, the last news. What do you understand about the last news? It's a Berlin electric concert. Mm hmm. The light turned off. And the group, and the group had to song and perform. Yeah, this is so sad. Like, like when you go to a stadium, you are going to watch a soccer game at nine, and suddenly there is a a blackout. And everybody in the darkness, so you cannot watch the game, the soccer game, because it's dark. And they have, they have to cancel the game on, unless the, the electricity come up so people can watch the game. Imagine that when you're paying a lot of money in a concert and for some electrical situations, there is a blackout or the lights when goes goes out. So you have to wait patiently to reestablish the energy. And you can watch the concert in that case. This could be a little bit sad about this news. But are things that happen and we can see, you know, how important, you know, the, the news are so we can learn about what is happening between us, around us. And we also work with that one. Uh, do you have any questions about vocabulary or any doubts? No? Okay, so let's continue with the next part of the class. And we have a topic to share. Let's see, let's see the year. Look at this, look at this. Okay, let me check. And we have a great topic to share today. And it's a review for you because we have studied this topic before. And look at this one. What's the topic? Can you help me to read, please? I need a volunteer to do that. Who wants to help me to read it? Pass continue versus pass simple pass. Yes. Yes. Use the past continuum for an um and going action in the past. Use the simple past for an event that interrupt the action. Past continuum will hit what scalping from the back. Simple past. The rubber got cow and the rolling door. Okay. Hello. That's right. So in that we can appreciate here. Of one of the topics is the when we use the past continuous for an ongoing action. So an action that was happening, a situation that was occurring, but there is no we don't know in the past continuous if the action finished because it's something that was happening. And the simple past is an event that interrupts an action. So in that case, we will combine the two structures. Look at the first example that was read first. While he was escaping from the bank, in this case, we're going to use while. What is the meaning about while in Spanish is mientras. While he was escaping from the bank, coma, because there is a first idea, is a dependent closed. Mientras él estaba escapando del banco, in that case, it's something that was happening in the past. And the simple pass is the rover go calf in the revolving door. So we combine one action was happening when the other action interacted this action in the past. So that's mean that the, the two actions were occurring. One action was happening and another action interacted this action in the past. While he was escaping from the bank, Robert go calf in revolving door. Es decir, que mientras estaba pasando una cosa, este, esta eh, fue interrumpida por otra. Entonces, mientras él estaba escapando del banco, el ladrón eh, lo atraparon 
en, en la puerta, en este caso, en The Revolving Door, en la puerta que, giratoria, entonces ahí lo agarraron. Entonces, eh, that is one of the things. Look at this one. As Jake was running toward the mold, he tripped and kicked into the ground goal. Um, como Jake estaba corriendo hacia la pelota, él como que dio un paso en falso y lo pateó en la meta equivocada. Entonces, eh, con, él estaba haciendo algo cuando la acción fue interrumpida por otra acción en el pasado. The secretary was making a speech when a protester threw an act at her. El secretario estaba haciendo un discurso, dando un discurso, cuando un, un protestante le lanzó un huevo. Entonces, la primera acción estaba ocurriendo y fue eh, detenida o interrumpida por la persona que le tiró el huevo. Entonces, esta persona interrumpió en el pasado una acción. So, we have this one, the combination between the past continuous. That's why it says that in the past continuous for an outgoing action in the past, And we use the simple pass for an event that interrupts the action. So look at the following example here. So we're going to share more examples here that we have. Veamos otros ejemplos. Y ahí vemos, while I drive an accident. While I was driving, I had an accident. Mientras yo estaba conduciendo, tuve un accidente. Entonces, ¿qué lo interrumpió? El accidente. And we have the number two. Look at the example here. Kate have dinner and then she do homework. How this will be in the past uh, continuous? It says that Kate had dinner and then she did her homework. Kate había cenado y luego hizo su tarea. Es decir, las dos acciones ocurrieron en el pasado porque no pueden ser interrumpidas. Primero eh, cenó y después hizo su tarea. Entonces, dos acciones que pasaron en el pasado, haciendo una regla diferente. Number three, the tips uh, hide in the kitchen when the police in parentheses come in. Entonces diríamos, the tips were hiding in the kitchen when the police came in. Dice que eh, the tips significa que los ladrones estaban ocultándose en la cocina cuando la policía llegó. Entonces la policía interrumpió la acción que estaba pasando al inicio. Entonces combinamos el present, el past continuous y el past simple. Number four. Sam planned a party and then he phoned his friend. So we will say that Sam planned a party and then he phoned his friend. En este caso el contexto de esta oración me indica que las dos tienen que ir en pasado. Porque primero él planeó una fiesta y luego llamó a sus amigos. Entonces, las dos acciones no llevarían pasado continuo. Porque es una acción consecutiva a la otra. O sea, que tiene una secuencia. En cambio, en las anteriores, una acción estaba ocurriendo y fue interrumpida por otra acción. Sí. Look at the next one. Um, number five. While, while, que significaba mientras, we clean the house, we break some glasses. So, this would be, while we were cleaning the house, We broke some glasses. En este caso, mientras estábamos eh, limpiando la casa, eh, quebramos algunos, algunos, aquí tiene dos significados, puede ser vasos o puede ser también vidrio, en este caso, o pueden ser lentes, pero en este caso va a referirse como a unos vasos. So while he, we were cleaning the house, we broke some glasses. And the number six, Alan took out of the window when he see a UFO. So the sentence will be, Alan was looking out of the window when she saw a UFO. Es decir, que Alan estaba viendo afuera de la ventana cuando él vio un objeto volador no identificado, UFO. And so we can check here that two actions, one action was happening and the other action was interrupted for these actions in the past. I don't know if you have any questions or doubts about this combination between the past continuous and the past simple. No. 
No, thank you, teacher. That's clear. Awesome. Yes. Excellent. Yes, thank you. Okay, so this is the time to see how much we understand this part. And we will try to complete the following example. We had to complete the following exercises. Use simple past or past progressive. And okay, so you, you can see here, uh, look at the example here. Vamos a hacer juntos. Mm -hmm. Ayúdenme con la primera. Um, so for that reason, I'm going to um, re, re share. Look at this one. Look at, look at. Okay, so this is going to be very helpful. Vamos a ver. La primera nos tiene que indicar que nosotros estábamos eh, desayunando. Dice cuando eh, la, la, eh, la, la campana de la puerta sonó. Entonces, ¿cómo uh -huh. digo yo en inglés que estábamos, eh, estábamos desayunando? Estábamos. We were eating. We were eating. Uh, uh, ok, we were uh, eating. Having. Oh, yeah, having breakfast. Uh -huh. or, or we were eating, también puede ser. Um, ¿Por qué no? We were eating or we were having mm -hmm. breakfast at the breakfast table when the door, cuando el, el, en este caso el timbre sonó, como sería en inglés. So, when the doorbell sound. Ok, podemos ponerla acá, mientras cuando sound, um, like this one. Ok, look at that one. So you can see here the example. Look at that. S O U N D E T. So no. Sound. 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 So we were eating at breakfast table when the doors sound. And also we got this one. And look at the examples for the number two. So look at that. And also también podemos decir que eh, en este caso cuando suena un timbre, eh, podemos utilizar el, el verbo round. So that is another way to say that it sounds. Look at this one. Sounded. Sounded. Yes, that will be um, the word. Sounded. And number two, look at this one. Um, he. Look at this one. Number two. Okay, veamos la siguiente. Maybe he was he was meeting a lot mm -hmm. of friendly people. Mm -hmm. um, en este caso, él conoció mm -hmm. eh, bastantes personas amigables mientras estaba visitando, eh, estaba eh, viajando o estando en California, por ejemplo, while he was o viviendo, por ejemplo, también es algo que estaba pasando en el pasado. Él conoció eh, bastantes personas amigables mientras estaba viviendo en California. ¿Cómo podríamos eh, ubicar la segunda, por ejemplo? He was knowing. En este caso, eh, dice que él conoció eh, bastantes personas amigables mientras estaba viviendo en California. He was living. It could be. He met, he met a lot of friends. Yes. A lot of friendly people while he was living in California. Exactly. So that will be a great mm -hmm. choice right there. So he met a lot of a lot of friends, friendly people while he was living in California. It's something that was happening. Look at this one. That's the best choice that we can add in this case in this statement here. Yes. So you can appreciate here in the first part, we're talking about a simple pa the simple past form. And also the complement is in the past continuous form. 
Okay, look at the next example here that we're talking about the number three here, like when date in the museum in the sun, look at that one. So I'm just gonna give you some ideas about it. Vamos a ver, ¿cómo podríamos formar la número tres? En este caso, quiero que me ayuden a traducir la siguiente. Dice que los, vamos a ver. Look cuando at this. ellos um, estaban visitando eh, el museo. En este caso, cuando ellos se fueron del museo, el sol mm. estaba brillando. ¿Cómo puedo decir yo cuando ellos, eh, ellos se fueron del museo o dejaron el museo? El sol estaba brillando. ¿Cómo podríamos decir esto? Get out. De salir. En They este are, caso, are cuando leaving. ellos eh, dejaron el museo. Leaving. Left. Mm -hmm. Yes. El sol estaba brillando. ¿Cómo sería en este caso? The sun uh, was shining. Yes. Shining. That's correct. So we can use this one. Shining. So when when they left the museum, the sun was shining. Cuando ellos dejaron el museo, el sol estaba brillando. Y nos quedaría de esta manera. Excellent. Ok, vamos con el número cuatro. Help me with that one. Dice que los, eh, los estudiantes estaban jugando eh, cartas okay. cuando el maestro llegó. The students were playing cards. The students were playing cards when the teacher arrived. Come. Como en este caso nos acompaña in, vamos a utilizar came in. Mm, okay. Yeah, and also using the simple past form. Vemos que usamos el, el where más el verbo más ing para el pasado continuo. Y en la parte del pasado simple, como sabemos, el verbo va en la forma pasado simple. Look at that. Vamos con Excuse la siguiente. Excuse me, teacher. I, I have a, a one question. Yeah. What could be the difference between, between using came in and broke into? Look into? Broke. Broke. I don't know. But you say in present, break, break into? Break into or come in. What could be the difference break. between using those? Oh, but break into is totally different to came in. Because break, break into is like when you like forced to have access to something else, right? And break into es como decir forzar algo. Uh -huh. mm. it, can, it come in is like entrar. Also, that's the difference. Come in. Es como que adelante o pasa. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Okay, look at the next one. Um, we're using, in that case, number five. So look at this one. We're talking about the children. And mientras los niños estaban durmiendo, sus papás estaban viendo televisión. En este caso, esta oración son dos acciones que estaban pasando, eh, dos acciones continuas. Entonces, ¿cómo puedo utilizar las dos acciones continuas? Mientras ellos estaban haciendo esto, los papás estaban haciendo otra cosa. Entonces, son dos acciones continuas en el pasado. En el pasado. ¿Cómo puedo decir yo mientras los niños estaban eh, durmiendo? ¿Cómo sería acá? While the, while the children were uh, sleeping, sleeping, their parents uh, uh, were... Sí. Eh, ¿Estaban viendo televisión? Watching, watching TV. Uh, watching. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, let me let me check here. Okay, we're watching television. Okay, so you can see here while the children were sleeping, their parents were watching television or watching TV. So you can see here the example. And look at the number six. Look at the number six. Help me with this one. So it says to eat terrain while she, the flowers in her garden. 
So, digamos que la, la número 6 es como que, digamos, que comenzó a llover mientras ella estaba regando las flores en el jardín. Miren qué interesante. Dice que comenzó a llover mientras ella estaba regando las flores en el jardín. Veamos con la primera. ¿Cómo digo yo en inglés? Um, comenzó a llover. It was raining. Eh, comenzar. It started being rain. Okay, it started. It started. It started to rain while she, mientras ella estaba regando. While was watering. Yes. Okay, she was watering. Okay, look at this one. Look at that. So it started to rain while she was watering the flowers in the garden, in her garden. Entonces comenzó a llover cuando ella estaba regando las flores, las flores en el jardín o en su jardín. En este caso vemos que eh, la acción fue interrumpida por otra acción en el pasado. Uh -huh. Vamos con el número 7. Uh -huh. um, dice que cuando yo abrí la puerta estaba lloviendo. Entonces, ¿cómo digo eso? Que cuando yo eh, abrí la puerta estaba lloviendo. When I was opening the door, it is raining. No, cuando yo abrí, cuando yo abrí la puerta. Opening. 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 Opened. Okay. Okay, let's see. Um, estaba lloviendo. Okay. It's raining. When it, it's, when I opened, it was, it was raining. raining. It was raining. It was, it was raining. It was raining. Okay, so it was raining. So that's right. When I opened the door, it, it was raining. That's correct. And look at the number eight. Dice que mientras Henry estaba tomando un café, por ejemplo, tomando un café en el bar, su esposa estaba nadando en, en el océano o en este caso en el mar. Entonces, como digo que mientras Henry estaba to, eh, teniendo o tomando un café o una bebida. What's having? Excellent. Wow. Yes. Henry, Great what? job. Having okay, a drink. Was having a drink at the bar. His, His wife, wife estaba, nadando, estaba nadando. He was eh, swimming. Swimming. Wife was swimming. Okay, he was swimming in the sea. Was swimming in the sea. That's right. Congratulations. We're doing great here. Number nine. Um, dice que él escuchó un fuerte como ruido eh, mientras él estaba hablando. Le estaba hablando a sus amigos. En este caso, entonces, como digo yo que él, en este caso, como dice la oración, él escuchó. He heard a loud bang when he was talking to his friends. Listen. Listen. Entonces, él escuchó un fuerte estallido. Entonces, vamos a ponerle. He heard a loud bang. A loud bang. bang while he was él estaba hablando a sus él estaba hablando a sus amigos he was uh, talking and also so, so we're gonna go back okay his friend. okay to his friends right and the number 10 look at examples It's very easy there. So, en este caso, eh, nos indica la, la siguiente. Dice que mientras él estaba tomando, su, tomando un baño, sus perros estaban comiéndose su carne. Entonces, ¿cómo digo yo que mientras él estaba tomando, tomando un baño? What's taken? Was taking. It was taking. What's taking a shower. Okay, taken, was taking a shower. Oh, sorry, Mrs. Bell, one second.
Okay, while he was taking a shower, his dogs estaban comiéndose su carne. Was eating where her meat. Where his ah uh, his meat. Es no es. Eh, ¿Estaban comiendo? His sticks. Where? Ah, where? Where eating? Mm -hmm. Como es Go plural. plural. Como es plural, mm -hmm. because we're talking about plural. dogs. Uh -huh. His sticks, right? En este caso, imagínense que le quitaron el bistec ahí al al cliente por estarse bañando. So sad. <laughs> so you can see here some examples about the past continuous determination with the simple past form. And also I can see that you can, you understand in the best way this part. Before that we conclude, because tomorrow we'll continue working with some other exercises because the main goal of that is we can practice and you have a good knowledge about the combination between the past continuous and a simple pass. We will continue tomorrow and also uh, check the presentation because we will continue working with that. So before that we conclude, we will uh, check the attend list. You listen your name and you say present. One second, please. So you can see that it's very common use this structure, especially when we are talking about something that was happening in the past. And when another action interacted this action in the past, it's very common. And one of the best ways uh, for, you know, you know, learning about this structure is the practice. So you can practice, work with some exercises, and that will be very familiar to you guys. I know that at first it could be a little bit challenging because you have to think about which part is in simple past and which one is in past, past continuous, but it's, it's normal. With the practice, we will feel more confident with that. Bien, uh, vamos a pasar la asistencia. Me dicen presente y pues vamos concluyendo. Uh, Brid uh, Brigitte Lisset Erazo. Present teacher. Okay, Carmen Guadalupe Escamilla. César Alexander Ramírez. Present. Uh, Dina Elizabeth Flores. Present teacher. Thanks, uh, Edith Araceli Guzman. Edith. Eduardo Alexander Díaz. Present teacher. Thanks, Elvis Aníbal Rauda Torres. Present teacher. Thanks, Emerson Alexander Mejía. Present teacher. Thanks, uh, Eneida Jamilet González. Present teacher. Thank you, uh, Jaime Roberto Aldana Beltrán. Present. Thanks. Javier Ernesto Lucero. Present. Um, Karen Suleima Ceseña. Present. Uh, Laura Michelle Arce. Present, teacher. Thanks. Uh, María Catalina Corea. Marvin Fernando Marcel. Present, teacher. Okay. Morena Guadalupe Fuentes. Present teacher. Thanks, eh, Oscar Alberto Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thanks, eh, Sara Nalda Guzman. Present teacher. Thanks, eh, Santiago Antonio Chavez. Present teacher. Um, Santiago, perdón, Santiago Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Raquel Areli Santos. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Okay, so we have um, Oscar Alberto Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, okay, guys. Okay, we will continue working in the exercises because the practice is the most important. So I hope to see you tomorrow and congratulations for the work done, students. Thank you, teacher. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye, guys. Have a good night. Thank you. Great job.